What's up guys, Welcome the fans here. Today is Tuesday, and I'm home. We are home from Washington. And there's Rex. Come here, Rex. Come here. Come here. Okay, fine, just sit there. Man, Seattle was freaking awesome, I'm gonna tell you that right now. It was just awesome. The really nice weather up there, you know. Not nothing like nothing like down here, you know. It's all just. I mean, the, it's the cloudiness is the same, but like, every morning that we woke up, it was always foggy outside. In Washington, it was always foggy. It's weird. Like it's not even winter, you know. Usually it gets foggy down here. It gets foggy like during winter, but up there, it just gets foggy like all the time. Whenever it's cold, I guess I don't know. Then again, it is colder up there. So it's like it's like 40 degrees when it's like 30 or 40 degrees. When, like in the middle of the night, so I, I mean, I, I could see why it gets foggy. Not nearly as many trees as there are in Washington, but yeah, so you can see the proof of progress on these houses. Remember the last time when I showed these, like back in like what was it, June, May, June, the, the area? Well, they're like pretty much done now, like the house down there, that's like ready to be sold and people can live in there now. I mean, then again, I was gone for like two and a half months in Texas, so yeah, I guess I missed all that, but. And I guess it looks like the cat's got more cat food. That's dog food, never mind. But there's actually, there's actually, I think it was two weeks ago, wasn't it? It was whenever I did, it was when, yeah, it was like two weeks ago. It was, it was whenever I did the skit, like my, like the family skit, you know, I did that. Oh, I didn't know Grandpa was here. He's fixing the, the Suburban, I didn't know that. Oh, cool. Well, oh, there's Mitt. Hi, Mitt, what are you doing? Hi, Mitt. Look at his little face. Oh, yeah, but oh uh, yeah, the suburban's broken down. I didn't talk. I didn't say that. I didn't mention that the suburban's broken down. So my grandpa's fixing. I guess I thought there was gonna be some guy that was gonna be like some mechanic or something. But I guess grandpa's here, so that's cool. Anyway, but like I was saying on the day of the skit, you know, I actually before that I had to go get more cat food because we ran out, and Mitt was like whining. He was like meowing. I didn't want him to be meowing throughout the whole skit, you know, I didn't want him to be doing that. So I just, I went to the store to get cat food for him before I even started the skit. And, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, my favorite part from being in Washington, that whole vacation, my favorite part of that was, I think you could guess, the forests. That was the best part. It was just awesome. I just wanted to stay there. I didn't want to leave. I just wanted to stay, man. I wanted to, this would be a perfect place to camp out, dude. I mean, yeah, you saw that there are places that you could, like, have barbecues. Was, yeah, there, you saw the tables and then the fire flame, like, the thing you put fire on, you can barbecue it. Barbecue your stuff on there. And you could, like, have a little, you can have your have little picnics there. And I'm telling you, man, I would not mind living there at all. It would be perfect. I don't know where we would live. Olympia, somewhere around Olympia, because that's where Dad works. Well, he works in, in Tacoma, but... I wouldn't mind living in Seattle either, but the freaking traffic there is crazy. Seattle was awesome. It, it, freaking the buildings there, they were like really tall and it was all lit up. It was like a nice little nightlife. Like I said before, like a week ago, I was like, oh, they got nice nightlife there, you know? And they do. It's freaking like, oh my gosh, just once, there's one, something that happened in Seattle that, I, that I, sh I could have filmed, but I wasn't filming at the time. I had turned it off, turned off the camera. But while we were driving through the city, like it was after we, it was after like we, I was filming the the space needle and everything, and the oh, the bike parade thing, whatever the heck that was, like the, all those people on the bikes, you know. We had left after that, and we were driving for like what five minutes, five or ten minutes. We had we were stopped at a stoplight, and I saw these two people across the street. They're just walking. I was like, okay, cool. They're just walking, and I looked at my phone. I look at a picture or something. Cause I took pictures on my phone. And I, when I looked up, I saw two people riding their bikes, coming this way, coming towards me, us. We were right there at the stoplight. We were right there, like we were in the front of the line. We were stopped at the stoplight. We had seen everything. We could see everything. I saw those two. I looked up and I saw those two people riding the bikes. This one person got hit by a car. Seriously, a car drove by and the, hit hit one of the bikers. Toy like flipped her over. Oh my! And I was like, oh my god! It's so crazy. I was like, oh my freaking crap. You know, mom was like, that girl just got hit by a car. I was like, oh my God. We were all like freaking out. And then dad rolls down his window and he's like, are you okay? 
and she she got up and everything. She was walking, but she didn't like you know. And the car that hit her was like all the way over, like over there, like you're gonna be able to. He was like up, up like quite a ways up the road, and he had stopped for a while, and then he started leaving. He started to drive away, and everyone's like everyone, everyone else, and everyone that was around was like, hey, hey, stop, stop, stop. And he stopped, and we we and we left because the light was green. And mom, because since, since, since I saw everything, I don't think everyone, I don't think anyone else saw because. Laura and Brian were being busy, being annoying as crap. They irritate the crap out of me, I'm sorry, but they weren't even paying attention. No one else was paying attention. Mom and Dad, I think, were talking, and I just looked up from my phone and saw everything happen. And then my mom was like, Clint, since you, since you saw everything, you should you'd probably stay, and because you were a witness, you should probably stay. I was like, yeah, I probably should. We parked somewhere to see what was going on. And, like, the bike was totally bent up, you know, and the girl was walking, though, so she seemed fine. And like the people, there were all these people walking me to the car that had hit the biker, and I felt, I know I shouldn't feel bad, but I felt bad for that driver, because I know exactly how that feels to do something like that, freaking crash into a fence, it's like you have to, and then into that truck, freaking like a month ago, I could crash into that truck, you know, I know how it feels to be like, to commit, not commit a felony, but you know, like, do like a minor something, like some minor thing, you know. For me, it was a failing to yield at a stop sign. Like, dude, I yielded for freaking five minutes. I already talked about that. But like, and then this guy who cra crashed into a bike, he ran a, he totally ran a red light. So that was a total, you know, he totally, you know, what is it called? Break the law? It's, I don't know. It's not a felony. You're not doing something totally serious. But like, I know how that feels. You feel so guilty. He's probably in court right now. I have no idea because he totally ran a red light and hit a biker. Like, that's gotta be like a five hundred dollar fine right there. Maybe even more. I don't even know. But mate, what are you looking at? Eat your food. Yeah. Eat your food. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and probably turn this off now. But yeah, I mean, otherwise Seattle and everything else was awesome. I, the house we were in, the house that Dad rented, I didn't like it at first. I mean, I thought it was pretty cool. I mean, I didn't. I mean, I didn't like it at first. It's, it smelled exactly like the house that we used to live in when we were in Missouri. It smelled exactly like that. I was like, oh my gosh, it brought, back so, it brought back so many memories. And like, we had a pool table in, our, in the house that we lived in, in Missouri, it was in the basement. I half expected there to be a pool table in the house that Dad was running because it smelled the same. So I thought there was going to be a pool table down there, and I was like, oh my gosh, looking cool, but uh, like, Grandpa's still working on that job. Uh, anyway, I'm hungry, oh my gosh, I'm hungry, dude. Anyway, but yeah, the house, I thought, I actually grown, I grew, grew to like it, I guess, I don't know. I had slept in the living room, and the living room was huge. So I had like a whole huge room to myself. Oh, and Brian was in there too, but anyway. Like, the room was huge, and so I had like had the whole... Slept on the couch, and it was like a freaking sweet. And then we spent Saturday at the, at the ocean, you know. And then we came back to the house. The we literally came back to the house at like 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock. Maybe, I don't know, actually probably 6 o'clock. We spent the rest of the day at the house just watching movies. Did I just hear Harley? What the heck? You heard that, didn't you? Maybe I was just hearing things, I don't know. Maybe he's back here, I don't know. Where are you? Okay, anyway. Maybe it was mid, I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off now, so thanks guys for watching. And I'll go ahead and see you guys whenever I see you. Bye.